My name's Pretty Hair, and this is the Armory! As a broadcaster for professional gaming, I've spent countless hours researching, analyzing, and playing various video games. But I want to take my passion a step further and evolve it beyond the screen. We're going to put some fantastical weapons and abilities to the test, going on location to learn how effective they would actually be in real life combat. This is the Armory. Koga is a highly agile flank champion in Paladins, Champions of the Realm. His ability, Agility, passively grants him the ability to climb walls. And when activated, Koga runs even faster and jumps higher for a short time. This helps him to scale walls even quicker, getting back to safety sooner. This week, we're headed to Nitro Zone, a giant indoor ninja training course where we will test out Koga's agility, seeing if his knack for climbing walls at high speeds is real or only possible in the realm. I brought with me, of course, my trusty man himself, Garrett Martini, the lead designer of Paladins <laughs> and the guy behind Koga. So we're testing Koga's agility today. Yep. It's increased movement speed, increased jump height. How important was it to kind of do that research and how viable was that wall running strategy out of the gate? Being a video game developer, right, we're not exactly bouncing off the of walls in our day-to-day -day life, yeah. but <laughs> spinning up those videos of people actually with legitimate talent, like <laughs> running up like vertically, yeah. sideways, like backflipping, it's really possible, so we're kind of going to see if we can do it. Sure. <laughs> so we're, we're testing agility, Koga's ability to increase his movement speed and his jump height. So how important do you think that movement speed is going to be re when relating to your ability to run up a wall or jump really high? The ability to go up a wall or go alongside a wall yeah. uh, has speed being a very big part of that equation. The only way you're able to create friction, traction, leverage on a foothold, on a, on a, like a vertical surface, is by the force going into it, if that makes sense. So, we gotta go fast, guys, let's do it. All right, Garrett, we're here at the, uh, at the training wheel wall. <laughs> we're gonna get you started here, so go ahead and, uh, and size her up. You know, we talked about your speed, we talked about your momentum. Here's your moment, it's not too big, not too small either, though. You don't wanna sleep on this wall. Just got a good run off the block here, a lot of speed, a lot of momentum, right up and over the top, there it is. That was graceful, well done. Double hand placement, I really liked it. A little bit bigger than the Just other one. Just a tad. One. How big do you think that is? Solid 15 feet, probably. 15, 20, 25. 70. You know when we tell people at least 30, 40 feet? It's a 100 foot sheer vertical face. <laughs> All right, let's do it. <laughs> Full violence, speed, momentum, oh gosh. Woo, oh he's got it, watch yourself, woo. He's got it, dude, this is it. Many a man I seen done fail this challenge line. You'll be no different. There it is, there. oh man, that was close. It's not about how hard you get hit, it's about how many times you get back up. Here it is. Yeah, wow, there it was, dude, that was so clean. You did, actually. I was going to say, wow, you're going way slower this time. So you want agility, but not too much agility. All right, Nick, this is your, this is your moment. Not fair. <laughs> I demand a recap. I'm glad, I'm glad you could benefit from all of my trial and error. <laughs> what you didn't see, guys, was about 10 attempts off camera that Nick was just practicing that. Too much hips. Too much hips, Nick. <laughs> so while I catch my breath from the warped wall, we're gonna do a little bit of a, a different test here with our speed and our jump height. One that's probably a little bit easier to visualize. We had Garrett first do a standing vertical leap, then jump again at roughly the same place, but this time with a running start. As you can see, with increased speed, Garrett was able to achieve a higher jump height than when not moving at all. This would prove useful for when we were trying to scale walls like Koga. So Garrett, the question I ask every guest host that comes on the show after we've completed our testing, Koga's agility, real or realm? Absolutely real. Uh, we may not have executed it to its best potential <laughs> either, but like without a doubt in my mind, it's totally possible. Well guys, that's two in a row. That's real, baby. I wanna give a big shout out and a thank you to the guys at Nitro Zone that yep. opened the place up early for us. There's nobody else here. They came in, I think, two, three hours early just so we could get this done. So big thank you, much love. But it wouldn't be an episode of the Armory without a little... Yeah. Uh, uh. 
Oh! All right, Maeve double jump. Real or realm? Garrett designed Maeve as well. Yeah, that's a realm. That's hard realm. Pack it up.